Hello everyone, welcome to Milky Singh Academy. This is your host Jaskira Singh. In today's video guys, I'm going to share with you that how you can add tick boxes, drop down list and different kind of emojis in your Google Sheet using your mobile phone. So as you can see here, I'm using my Google Sheet mobile application and I'm going to share with you that how you can add tick boxes, drop down list and different emojis here so you can see here i can select and unselect the tick boxes here and i, I can use the google sheet drop down list here you can see different kind of items that i can add and similarly for the emojis i have added using the character function so let's start with this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i keep posting these kind of videos on my channel so let's start with this video guys so guys let's learn first that how you can add tick boxes so adding tick boxes it's very easy so you have to first select the range in which you want to add tick boxes so my range is a2 to a15 so after selecting click on this three dotted button and uh, here you can see the data validation so you have to click on data validation and here you can see list of items so it is by default it is selected here but once you have selected the range because without selecting the range you will not get this option so you have to make sure you have selected the range now I'm going to click on three dotted button clicking on data validation and now here you can see in the criteria so if I click here you can see a tick box option so just select it and click on save now you can see a tick boxes has been added here in our sheet so you can check it or uncheck it so you can see if it is checked it is true and if it's not checked it is false so it is a boolean you can see the next thing is how to add drop down list so in similar fashion you have to select the range first so this is the range where i want to add the drop down list so select the range and click on three dotted button so adding drop down list uh, there are two methods in google sheet first is adding the list of items directly in the num in the sheet so let me just show you that how you can do that so let me click on data validation so now here you can see list of items so here you have to add the items that you want to add in your drop down list so first for example i want to add the company's name so maybe google so just click on ok button here so it is going to add into your list items so maybe i want to add another company name samsung so maybe there is twitter and uh, maybe facebook so these are the list of companies that i want to add in my uh, drop down list so instagram so these are the five companies that i want to add so just click on save now you can see a drop down list has been created so now you don't need to write again and again on your uh, selected drop down list here you can see so if i click here it will show me the list of items so i can select any item from here so for example samsung google so this is how you can add drop down list and choose the values from there so this is the first method guys to add the drop down list the second method is that uh, you have already have a list and you want to include here so for example i have this list here so let me first copy that because i want to i don't want to write again and again so let me clear all of that here so long press and if you haven't watched my video i have made a complete video tutorial for how to use google sheet so if you are new to my channel so you should definitely check my that video in which i have explained from the scratch that how you can make a google sheet or how you can use it so it is a, a must watch video if you are a beginner so that i am talking about the second method guys so here it is my list here so apple samsung mi spacex so these are the different companies here so now i'm going to again select the range here so this is my range and another thing about uh, adding the uh, adding the drop down list in your google sheet by using the second method is that you must be knowing about the range so my list range is from a1 to a9 so that we are going to need because uh, we are going to add the absolute reference so let me select the range here in the b cell you can see so now let me click on three dotted button now clicking on data validation now from the list of items 
I'm going to select list from range. So here you can see guys, you have to provide the range. So our range is A1. So you have to add the absolute reference. So A1, so not, so here you have to put the dollar. So this is how you can add absolute reference. So A1 to A9. So let me again add a dollar sign and then A and then again dollar and then nine. So this is our absolute reference. So click on save. So you can see a drop down list has been added. Now we haven't used the list of item directly in the drop down list. We have we, we are using the drop down list. We are using the list items from a different range. So you can see if I click here, their list of items are nine. So I have added Instagram and all these things. So we have added all these list items using the absolute reference in the data validation. So this is the method number two. So now the last one is our emojis. So here you can see different emojis. So you can uh, really uh, have fun with these kind of emojis. For example, the screen tick here. So you can add into your Google Sheet. So they can be very interactive if you want to make your Google Sheet interactive. So here are red cross star. So if you are giving a rating, so you can use the star icons as for if you're using the numbers only. So you can add stars. So here you can see guys, uh, every emoji has a character set. So but this function, this character function too. So for example, let me delete that. So you can have an idea. So what I have done here, guys, I have added a character function. So for example, let, let me click on equal to sign and then I'm going to write character. So this character function, what it is going to do? It is going to convert a Unicode number into emojis. So that is all it is doing here. So the emoji, the emoji star emoji. So the character number is for that is 11088. So this is the emoji number. So you can see. So by adding 11088, it is going to add a star. So every emoji has a Unicode number. So I'm going to put all the numbers of all the emojis in the description box so you can have an idea. So I'm going to add a website link where you can see all the emojis. So every emoji has a different Unicode. So you have you don't need to remember all these. So you can easily look up on the website which I have given in the description box. So you can get the Unicode number. So these are all the decimal numbers. So different numbers have different uh, emojis. So what is the practical use of these emojis? So I have made a rating sheet here, you can see. So these are the movie names and their scores. So I have done a little formula here. So let me just clear out this formula. So let me clear so you can get an idea why I'm adding this thing in my video tutorial here. So I have movies names, I have score. So instead of rating, I'm going to add stars here. So with this, I'm going to use the repetition formula. So I have going to write equal to sign and then I'm going to write repetition. So here you can see repetition. So here in the in the brackets here, I'm going to write character function. So a function inside a function. So I'm going to write 11088. And now here I am going to write the number of repetition. So number of repetition is my four. So I'm going to select the cell number B, B2 here. So you can see, you can take the screenshot of this number here. So repetition character 11088 and B2 is my cell. So if I click on OK button here, you can see different stars. So the movie Northman has four stars. So you can see the stars here. So let me autofill that. So select the whole cell and click on autofill. So you can see remaining formulas are automatically added. So this is the practical functions of emojis. So that is all guys, how to add tick boxes, drop down list, and emojis in your Google Sheet. So I hope you have learned something about from this video. So I make regularly these kind of videos. So don't forget to subscribe. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.